So, hey, beautiful people. Well, I don't engage in toxic positivity. I'm pretty content most of the time. Sometimes I'm happy. And sometimes we got to deal with some realities. So I don't want to be negative, but forewarned is forearmed, right? So I want to make you aware of some things that are important. If you've been following my work and following this channel and watching the videos that I've been making that talk about the politics of natural versions of things, can't even call them what they are anymore, and how things have been going, then this isn't going to surprise you. If you have not, I urge you to watch those. They're all in the playlist of, uh, I think it's called Politics of Entheogens or something like that. And things have been marching right along since about a year ago. And I, it's alarming at what has happened. So I'm going to tell you the bad news and then the good news. So what happened to me and the reason why I have learned what has happened recently is my Etsy store got taken down, but I saw it coming. So I wasn't surprised. But what I thought was, I knew that they had started taking down, well, a year ago, all the platforms started taking down sales of that. So what I was doing was making sure that I worded everything carefully in my listings and it, it didn't matter. It was, it was all taken down. So it happened after I had 120 sales, the store was almost sold out anyway. Thank goodness for that, but they suspended my account. So I didn't know if they were going to allow me to ship, you know, to get access to the orders or whatever, but they did. I was able to get labels, get everything shipped out to everyone. It sold out, it was almost sold out anyway, in 48 hours, like it always does. But this means I can't sell there anymore at a point where my sales are just their record sales in a, in a short amount of time. And I've still got people writing saying they didn't get anything. So now I've got to build my own store. Well, now there's another problem with that. That's very alarming that you need to know about. It's been sort of encroaching and getting worse, but now they just made huge sweeping changes. And, and this is how it affects you. Even if you don't use this, this is going to affect you, especially if you're in my community and you need to know about this. You really need to know about this. I don't get anything by you watching, leaving now or watching to the end of the video. I get nothing. I'm making this because I care about my community. I care about all of you, even if you're not in my community. So it started a year ago when YouTube took my first video down of me foraging that, just out foraging, right? Back in March, they took down all the content that had to do with that, every bit of it. So I had to build my own website. Turns out that was a really good thing, but then the inevitable happened. My channel was at 15,000 subs and it just screeched to a halt. Nobody could find me. The question started again. How do I use this? How do I make this? How do I get this? How do I find this help? I need help. And I was back to square one again and having to manually just tell everybody, go to the website, go to the website, go to the website, go to the website. And I had to spend money out of my own pocket to host an incredible amount of video with a lot of bandwidth. It is a work in progress. It costs money. Y'all have been showing up and supporting that. That's great. Thank you. Without you, it wouldn't be happening. And I made videos warning you, it's not just about this. It's about all of them and not just the ones in that kingdom, but in the plant kingdom also. And one of the biggest takedowns I've seen is the green plant that starts with a K that is a painkiller, natural painkiller. It is not illegal in most countries. It's not illegal in this one. They've tried repeatedly. And since that didn't work, since the drug lobby wow. tried to do that and it didn't work, they just did a takedown across all the platforms. And now it's very hard to find it. There's no more educational information allowed anywhere on any platforms. I've slowly been watching the channels just disappear and get taken down. I can't say the word. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, perhaps it'll be in the comments somewhere. And if you put it in the comments, <clears throat> separate it out. You know what I mean? Don't. That's another whole thing. They're coming after the comments section now. And a lot of accounts are getting taken down if too many keywords show up in the comments section. That's another whole thing. Just going to keep running. I'm getting to more stuff. You need to hear it. Bear with me, it's a lot to cover. I found out pretty quickly 
that even though I did all the SEO, the search engine optimization stuff behind the scenes on the back end of my website that I could do, I was still being suppressed in search results. I hired help. They did all they could do. It was confirmed, yes, I'm being suppressed. So are all the other places. So not only can we not do this on social media anymore and educate, but when we try to build our own sites at our own expense, then we just get suppressed in search results. So how are you going to find us or find your information, your educational information? I didn't think it would get that bad, but it, re it really is that bad. And it's not just the one that starts with a K. There's new sweeping changes that are just starting and it's gonna get even worse for you with things that I know that you use. Even if you don't use that or the one with the K, there are things you use that are about to get censored. I have a video on Google's beginnings. What happened when they went to China? How that changed everything and why this is happening now. A cat wants in, hang on. So now that we are here, what I wanted to do is tell you, most of you are showing up because you've done what I've told you to do. And that is what I'm gonna tell you to do again. Find all of the alternative things that you're using. And that list is about to get even longer and find where they live on the internet. If they are selling on platforms that have apps, go to them and say, do you have a website? Or look in their descriptions, find their website. If they have a newsletter, subscribe to it. Hear me out. Most of you that are older remember the internet being mostly wordy websites. And if you wanted information, you signed up to a newsletter, right? With social media now, we don't need newsletters because they're posting and keeping us updated all the time. Most of you that are younger, you don't check your email. It's pointless. It's for receipts and you know warranty stuff, right? I am trying to get your attention and I need you to listen to this very carefully. We are having to go underground and do things very differently. We cannot keep up with the modern wave of where we are being steered and where they want us to behave and go. If you want to continue to stay educated, we're going to have to drop back to older ways of doing things, go underground, form like an army, gather, come together, congregate, and get serious about this and creating our own communities in our own ways that are off of social media platforms and apps. Apps being the, the very important word here, and we'll talk about that in a minute. You need to get friendly again with newsletters, with forums that are old fashioned, like my Amnita Research Forum. Find the things that you need to use that are not made by major corporations. Go to the people that supply those things and educate about those things. Let them know or ask them, how can I best learn from you, follow you and keep up with you that is not on social media? They already know, I, they already know. They're doing this, they're trying to do this and keep reaching. So if you aren't where they are, you're gonna get left behind because I'm gonna tell you now, one year ago, you saw posts all over social media about alternatives to some of the major things that you have been prescribed. And these are powerful alternatives that actually work. You don't see those posts anymore, they're gone. Have you noticed they're gone? It's hard to notice the absence of something. But think about it. When's the last time you saw any information about the natural painkiller? Just randomly searching on any social media or any platform. You haven't. In at least nine months, some of the last ones, 
last March, there was the whole takedown of even culinary fungi, being able to propagate them in your home to eat them. They are not actives, they're just food. Those things are going away or they're already gone. It's hard to notice the absence of something, but look at your social media feed. Where is there anything on any social media about helping your body in any way? So let's get into all of the new sweeping changes that should scare you. So once my store got taken down, I went to find out, like to write to customer service to get some help. And surprise, surprise, there is no customer service. All of the platforms have taken away customer service, along with taking away your rights. And I have a video on this when YouTube did it. There used to be a day when you could actually call to address a concern or a takedown or a violation or a strike. I have much more alarming news about YouTube in my other videos that are in this playlist. You need to go watch those so that you get the picture of how bad it is and what's truly happening and how far behind you are if you haven't been keeping up. So now there's no more customer service. So what they've done instead is they've put up these forums for everyone to help each other. So what I did is I went to the Etsy forum and put in what happened to me. And sure enough, it was just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of posts. And I started learning about all the items that are now being taken down. So instead of it being anything that's in the DSM, like we can't make claims about anything that has been listed as a disease and put in the DSM. We can't talk about that. We can't make claims about that. That's been a law for a long time. So even though it's perfectly legal for you to say something natural, like you know, for anti-aging, it has a natural hyaluronic acid in it. That can't do that anymore. Aging skin is not a disease but now that can't be talked about or used or sold on any of these platforms anymore. If you sell chamomile as a tea, lavender, anything, and you talk about sleep, it'll get taken down. The new rules are anything that helps any condition. Dry hair, can't sell a shampoo for dry hair, can't sell a conditioner, you can sell makeup as long as it doesn't help your body in any way. You can sell color as long as it's natural and it doesn't help your body in any way. But also included in that list is the prepper community and prepper stuff. So things like packaged foods, things to help you start a fire or to create heat, None of that is allowed to be listed or sold on any of these platforms. So people that are metalsmiths and metal workers, they first deplatformed them, you know, that made even chef's knives and cooking knives, right? But now that has been extended to all metals, hinges and things like that. But that means jewelry is safe, right? No, nope, jewelry's gone too. Because a lot of jewelry contains gold and silver. You can no longer buy and sell with each other gold and silver. Guess why? So anything that can be considered toxic or perishable or flammable. Well, that's kind of sweeping. And a lot of natural things that just come right out of a plant naturally can be flammable. So at this point, as you can probably tell, the list is quite long. One of the few things that hasn't been hit are essential oils. As long as you don't talk about any condition that you're treating, which has always been the case. But even if you just say that it is good for you, it'll help you glow or something, whatever. It, as long as all you say is that it smells good. But why wouldn't they find a way to take those down? Because they aren't that powerful, because they don't actually really work. If you will notice the things that are getting taken away are things that are powerful that actually really work. Those are the things that are threatening, right? Except this whole prepper thing, like even the Mylar blankets, they're not allowed anymore. 
So it gets worse. You can say, well, open your own store. And everybody's like, hey, just get a Shopify plugin, you know, for your, your website. Well, then when you go to these stores, oh, my cats, let's talk about. So in those forums, in all the forums, the eBay forums, all of these forums, people were saying, yeah, my store got taken down and all I sell are hair extensions because they're real human hair. So now I can't sell hair extensions. And someone was selling a natural hair color, but it wasn't henna. That got taken down. Anyway, they said that they did make their own website <clears throat> and their own store. And they used Shopify. And then Shopify said, nope, can't sell after they went through the trouble of paying to have their own Shopify store. So in the terms of service for even these ready-built stores, they have just gone through and made all these exact same sweeping changes. And these are all now prohibited items, even in your own Shopify store. Let's say you build your own store, which I am doing. Here's the next problem that I don't know how I'm going to deal with yet. Payment providers. So many of you may have noticed in my community, I have a vendor page on my website, amiadreamer.net. Uh, and I have a where to buy people that harvest that, right? And they sell it. And I have what, four vendors, I think. And one after another, they have to keep shutting down and figuring out how they're going to get paid. Because payment providers, people that facilitate the payment, like Venmo and PayPal and Stripe and Square and Zell and banks and MasterCard and Visa have now decided they will not process payments of prohibited items. Yep, you heard that right. So all of my vendors at one point or another have written to me going, help, I can't take people's payments. People are getting turned away. I have people trying to buy and they've had to figure out alternative forms of payment, which is the whole one of the many reasons that crypto is working. And in the beginning, yes, it was used, people used it on the dark to try to facilitate things that were not legal in countries, right? And some pretty nefarious shit because you can use it for anything above the board stuff as speculative investments, whatever. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. But now that even our legal items that our government is not controlling the buying, trading, or selling of, perfectly legal, is prohibited across the board on all the platforms, we are down to having to figure out ways now to be able to do this, right? So <laughs> here's how they're getting us <clears throat> on that front. Now our government and any of you that are in crypto, hang on again. And I got into it about a year and a half ago at the urging of people that were in the community going, you're gonna need to be in this space. You need to get in this space. I got in that space. One of the things that happened almost as soon as I got in it was our government here in the U.S. then realized this natural progression of how people were moving to continue to do this. And they took over one of the major platforms that we use to buy and sell in crypto, and it was called Binance. It's, a wor it's used worldwide. The United States government made it illegal to, to be able to use that app here in the United States. They forced them to build a US version, which is highly invasive and to open an account, you got to do the exact same things as you would a bank account, where you have to provide your social security number and a government issued ID, which means it is traceable and trackable, everything that you do with your currency by the US government. It's full of delays. They hold your money for 10 days. The fees are ridiculous. Like it's, it's no different than using a bank, except you're just dealing in crypto. That's the first thing they did. Then they took down apps out of our app stores 
that makes it easy to switch over from different platforms of currency from BEP one and two, right? If you're in crypto, you understand what that is. You need a gateway to pass between the two. And those apps got taken down out of the app store and they're no longer available here. This is only the beginning of the encroachment on the payment side of things. I, I am not telling you that this is a one size fits all conspiracy theory. I'm telling you, it's not just those that are in the business of making the things that we get prescribed for illnesses. It's not just that. Because the takedown of all of these apps, like if Stripe and all these other payment providers, the reasons that they have these prohibited items and that they are not willing to process payments is because they have apps. And now the app stores say any app that buys or promotes or sells or trades or deals in any of these prohibited items, you may not put your app in our app store. And this is Google Play and Apple. So if you wanna be successful, you've gotta be on those two platforms. So you can either choose not to be on those two platforms and still help people deal in these things or just don't deal in those things. Every single app in the world is prohibited by Google Play and Apple. So when you keep working this thing to the top, the government that's making laws to be invasive, to limit crypto, the two largest app platforms, Apple and Google Play, the largest search engines suppressing re results, all of the selling platforms deplatforming everyone, and all of the social media no longer allowing you to learn about or be educated about all of these things. It doesn't matter. Listen to me. It doesn't matter why. Learn what is and plan. If you can help me, Become a patron, we Zoom, and we can talk about things one-on-one, -on -one, personally, right? I put out my newsletter. It's short and quick and to the point. Twice a month, that's all I do. I don't blow your, your box up. I'm only one important piece of your overall health puzzle. Find all your others. Go to where they are. Sign up to whatever they put out. I don't know how I'm going to do payment, but you need to learn to get into the very basics of your crypto. Get Coinbase. It's simple. It's not invasive. Get one type of currency. It's simple to purchase and, and just have it sitting there. And then when you want to support or purchase or obtain anything from your people, who have stores, this is going to be the safest way until our government takes that away. Stock up, plan ahead. Work in your local community and get people of like mind together. And each of you focus on one thing and learn how to make it yourselves, learn how to grow it yourself. I am going to expand the items. I'm working on expanding my offerings. I'm working on building my store. It is going to be hopefully available mid-January 2022. If you want to be a patron, that's going to help me financially pay for all this because social media is free. But now that I'm getting knocked off all these platforms, having to pay up front to build the stuff myself costs money. I don't care. Pay me, don't pay me, support me, don't support me. Buy my shit, don't buy my shit. Just watch my entertaining stuff and stick around and be part of our community and come to the free things. That's amazing. Do that. I make stuff for free. All my videos are free, 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 free. They're educational on the website, dreamer.net, I mean, dreamer.net, or they're entertaining on YouTube for you because I love you because this is not all of life. This is just the basic functionings so that we can celebrate with each other, so that we can love each other, so that we can commune together. 
I'm doing a, I do live videos now every Christmas day. I used to do them once a month, but because of censorship, I can't do it on YouTube. I'm trying to figure out how to do it myself, streaming by myself on my own platform somewhere. So I'm not censored. I'm having a difficult time figuring that out. I have OBS. I just don't know where to stream that the bulk of people can interact without censorship. It's hard. We're learning. We're going to work on it. Before you come at me and tell me all these other video platforms you want me to get on, I am aware. Why don't you go see which ones I'm on? Okay, I'm not asking for advice. That, that's what I'm giving you. I got this. I'm going to do the best I can with what's available. But we have to be nimble. We have to flow like a river. We have to be able to network with each other like the mycelium. We have to be able to move and change, be responsive. The days of finding what's familiar and comfortable and having a habit and staying in that is over. The people that do that are the people that are getting steered toward entertainment and superficial, mindless eating and intakes of things that are on the construct. Think differently. Let go of your habits. Create an ability to change and adapt. Listen to what your creators are creating and making and telling you, I'm over here and I'm over here. Sign up to this if you want to know what's going on. You may have to pay either to support or to get involved in a question answer session or to purchase the things. Social media might be free but it's no longer where you're going to get your education. I'm keeping as much of my free as I can. I only want people to give me money that are just giving it freely. I do my best, but that doesn't mean that the other creators who have to charge that there's something wrong with them. They need to stay afloat, support them. I didn't used to support patrons and have a Patreon and, and give people money. Now I'm seeking out my creators that I'm following and learning from, and I'm asking them, where can I support you? Because I want to stay educated about the things that are helping me. I'm concerned about some of the items in my incense blends that are about to go away. I'm reaching out to all of these people. I'm starting to have multiple sources of getting the things that I need, even the things that are harmless, like beautiful, easy to grow passion flower. A lot of those are already gone. So I'm working on people that, okay. So yes, these are the things that I wanna tell you. I will continue to keep you updated as things change on this front. I have my Christmas video coming out on the 20th, every December 20th. I, I want you to live vicariously through me. If you're depressed and you don't wanna get out, if there are no Christmas lights or a Christmas village anywhere near you, if, you feel like you can't enjoy the Christmas spirit or you're not in it, whatever. I go for you and I spend a lot of time editing it and I hope you come watch it, that comes out. Or you can just go to the playlist and see all the ones I've made previously. I'll do this every year. And then I go live on Christmas day because a lot of us have lost our tribe and we need it. So I'll be here with you on YouTube, Christmas day at 6 p.m. every Christmas. And more when I figure out how to go live elsewhere. I hope this has helped you. I hope it's been educational. I am on Instagram on my second account because they took the first one down. If you want to go over there, I'll keep trying. And you can find how to get involved in our community at amnitadreamer.net. And thank you for being here. I care about you. Thanks for being my people. I love you, beautiful people. Bye.